So as promised, so to get straight stuck into it. So the first thing we're just going to cover is uh, almost a uh, fundamental. I know a lot of fundamentals start with, I don't know, adding options to your menu, but I assume you can find some scripts with that one. We're going to look at knobs. So in this case, we're going to do something visual, putting the postage stamp on and off and generally mucking around with knobs. So let, let's bring up the properties bin for this and do it manually. So manually, on the color wheel, there's a bunch of controls, knobs, you can change the center value, usual kind of stuff. So visually, we want to muck around with the postage stamp, all right? If you're doing this as a human, you would tick this on and off and you would see the change, all right? So what we've done is we've set the value of this knob to be true, and we've set the value of this knob to be false, okay? So that's a very simple operation, but we want to be able to do this without having to bring up the properties panel and do all this work. So let's uh, reset that one. Where's that one? So on the script editor, first thing we have to do is we have to actually say, I want this guy. So I'm going to show you the selection based approach, which is as simple as this. I have a select, uh, uh, it's not selected. I'm going to select the color wheel. Nuke, oops, typo, nuke.selected node. That will give me a reference to this selection node. So it'll just basically have a thing and I'm just going to call it the node, the node. So the node is going to be what I have selected. It's pretty readable in English uh, as we have it here. To actually run this code, I'm assuming that you have no experience with this stuff. So there's a bunch of buttons up here. The ones of interest is this guy, run the current script, and it's got a hotkey, control plus return. If you press it, uh, you'll see me make a typo. Much better. Right. Everything here in this section disappears and goes up here and, and like stuff happens. I would actually suggest don't press that button unless you have something selected. So let me bring this. I'm just going to take this guy here. Ah. Copy it, paste it. I'm actually going to select this and I'm going to hit the same button again. Deselect that for clarity. So I'm going to press the same button. So what this does is it runs the script you have selected and then it doesn't delete anything. So because I like hotkeys, you'll see me do stuff like this a lot. I basically selected it, press control enter and run it. All right. It's, it's, a, it's a cleaner way to work in my head because I use this area as a gigantic notepad. I don't want to throw away everything. Oh, slight digression. So now we have uh, the node. What is the node? Well, with a lot of Python objects, you can simply do stuff like this. You can select it and hit control enter and it's going to dump some some weirdness like this in the console. That, that, that's fine. It is, it is what it is. Just know that we've got a um, a reference to it, all right? So going back to our simple English thing, we said that we want to turn the value of the postage stamp on and off, all right? And it's a knob. So logically, we want to set the value of the knob to be true or false. Right, this is probably not going to be all that surprising. But obviously, we need to say, what's the knob called? We can guess that it's called postage stamp, but we can also find out very easily. So let's bring up the properties bin for this guy again. And go back to the front page. If you mouse over any of these things and just let the mouse hold for a second, you can actually see what they're called. So come on. Edge saturation, capital S, lowercase e. And we go to rotate. Yeah, the name's, name's pretty obvious. Some of them confuse you. For example, if we put a grade node down, bring that guy across here. Uh, black point, white point, lift, gain, multiply, offset. I wonder what black point's called. Black point, cool. I wonder what white point's called. White point, okay. So lift is called black. And gain is called white. So that's why it's always useful to look at what these things are actually called. So I'll just close that and get rid of it. So here, we want to know what poster stamp is called postage underscore stamp. Now, Nuke has a long history, which is why you'll see some of the naming conventions. Some of them will be what we call camel case, where you have capital letters. Some of them will be snake case, which this is an example of where you've got that underscore. Um, it, it's a legacy of just having 
uh, quite quite a quite a long history behind it. So yeah, we'll just close that guy. So it was boot knob postage stamp. All right. So we should have a reference to the knob now. In the same way we got this was the nodes uh, I have selected. This is the postage stamp knob of the node and we want to set the value. And we want to turn it off. So we want to set it to be false. And similarly where I said earlier, select it, control enter, done, magic. Now. This is not particularly complex, obviously. Uh, let's let's do the other way. Let's set it to be true. So I've just gone and selected the line and done that one. So effectively, you know, restored it back to normal. This is how we go and manipulate individual knobs. So let's uh, do something else. Let's go onto the, uh, let's add some text to the label. You, oh God, I gotta stop doing that. So, you know, same thing. It's gonna copy the same line and we'll follow it. The label, oops, uh, one problem, if you don't spell very well, your spelling will get better the more you do this. We're going to set the value to something nonsensical like, um, I don't know, today, uh, today is a very sunny day, done. All right, same thing selected, wham. And here we are, we've set the value of the label to be today is a very sunny day. So you can sort of get an idea about how you can use this to manipulate anything here. All right, so the num numerical values, so edge saturation, let's let's just move this down here. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Edge saturation, new edge saturation, right? And if we try this again with the words, today is a very sunny day, it's going to complain. Over time, you'll start recognizing what these error messages mean. In this case, what it's saying is expecting a float stra found. That's machine code for, uh, it's a number, mate, uh, like 1.7, whatever. You've given me uh, a novel. No. So obviously, you can probably guess a bunch of these things. So set value 1.2. And the edge saturation changes. Let's um let's crank this so you can actually see it in the little mini postage stamp. Let's see, crank it twelve hundred. All right, that's what we've done. So yeah, that is the first very simple approach at knob manipulation. Now, this is probably about as complex as it's going to get. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. That, that, that's about it. Now, things I'll probably note as well is help about Nuke. I'm running this in Nuke non-commercial, just so you don't have anything fancy. Uh, where possible, I'm going to be using Nuke NC so that you don't need a specific license or anything crazy. Uh, where I do need to run a full copy of Nuke, I'll let you know or I'll try find workarounds for it so that you can follow along. You can basically play at home. Um, let me just escape. Now, one thing with Newton on commercial is, let me see if I can generate. Yeah, all right. So at some point, you're going to get this error message, uh, this this error, all right? Uh, it's a limitation of Newton non commercial where you can only fetch nodes from the node graph, about 10 node limit. Um, it's it's to stop. I believe it's to stop people from scripting a whole bunch of stuff in Python and basically bypassing the non-commercial aspect of it. So in that case, what you do is you kind of have to um, close Nuke and start it up again. Well, well, I'll explain ways to sort of make minimize the impact of this a bit later. All right. So yeah, uh, keeping to my ten minute limit. Hopefully this helps you start, and we'll uh, get into a few more later.